Hey there, Long Riders. Do you want to know what our pick is for this Christmas season? Or how to spend that money you got for Christmas? We're going to start to tell you right now. Hello, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. If you haven't, if this is you're new to our channel and you want to check out more of our videos, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, live streams, or product reviews. In this video, before we go any further, every video from now on, we're going to do a shout out to another YouTube channel. And this one will be the Fly Fishing Ninja. You can check out his description in the link below. So go check that out. And this, I tried to do a Sunday live stream last Sunday and it turned out terrible. From interruptions to pausey and I went back and I deleted that video. So for all you people that might have watched this that video uh, and already know all this, this is my picks for how to spend your money you get for Christmas or what to put on your list for Christmas or leave this open on your, I mean, it's getting to be down to the you know, not much Christmas time shopping anymore. So this is my list of what you should get with your money for after Christmas. And these links will stay in our video links below all year long. And maybe a couple new ones so that you can check out. Because every time you use these links, we get money. Cha-ching! It helps our channel out. It helps us get better, bring better vital quality to you. So... Without any further ado, let's get to my list. Alright, the first one in this description is a fly rod and reel combo from the Cabela's. Now, everything in this list is at the Cabela's and the store Cabela's itself. If you want to do your own shopping, use our link. We still get a percentage of anything you spend there. Uh, I like a four-piece. I got all our rods are in two-piece and I... That was a bad mistake because now we're getting mountain bikes and then the um, riding kayaks and stuff. It's much easier to carry uh, a smaller rod case for the four piece. So I might have to go out and switch everything to four piece. I might build them myself. So look forward to them videos if I start building my own rods. But anyway, this is my pick right here for the rod combo. As you can see, it's a really nice four piece. Comes with a nice reel, nice line, preloaded. And yeah, who am I kidding? I probably won't build rods this year. I probably won't have time. So I'll probably end up buying one of these. I like the price. I really like it. So there's my choice of the rod and reel. If you're going to go pick one out, I, uh, if you're just getting started, I suggest that you get the rod and reel combo and line and everything. And then you can pick out the line you like and stuff as you get more involved. Okay, my second one is this beginning fly vice toolkit all in a nice wooden box. It would be great. Even if you have your experienced fly tire, I used to do it a lot. Once in a while I do it now, but I want might get back into buying this because for the price. Is you can go to the creek and if you don't have anything, you tie. Especially if you're going camping, like we're gonna do a lot of this summer, we'll be out in location. Um, we might be visiting the per uh, the person, looking at the water, and the next day going fishing with one of these traveling kits. You can tie at your hotel room, whatever. You don't have to drag all your stuff. It's pretty nice. So I recommend that. If you're an advanced tire and you want a three rotational, you just kick 
Cabela's link below. You can get, find a whole array of 360 rotational devices um, and many price range. So go do that. But if you're just starting out or you want a travel pack, here's my suggestion for that. As you can see, all the tools and everything are in there. It's a really cool, nice little travel kit or get started kit. Now, as for getting fly tires, I don't recommend you go out and buy one of the fly tying material kits. I recommend you watch some of our videos or watch excuse me, somebody else's videos and see what materials they use the most and go buy them. Because uh, besides the dry fly necks, Everything else is pretty cheap, you know, like I can recommend, you know, like pheasant tails. Well, let me show you. We also have links below to all these materials. So I'd start your own kit. It's, uh, we got. We can get your threads and beads. We also have a large, they also have a large variety of hooks in our description below. <laughs> As you can see, we have a whole bunch of materials in the description below. We went through and spent hours putting this list together so that you didn't have to go and shop. You could just, you know, watch our videos, go back and catch, you know, get beads, get the hooks you need, whatever. You need to tie our video, our flies in the videos, and this is just quick online. You don't have to go through all the Cabela's and look up hooks and look. Up. We did all that work research for you and put it in the description below, and you can find all the stuff in the description below. And like I said, it helps our channel out, our channel, not my channel, because it's our channel. We growing, and I want to thank you for getting us to a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Never thought I'd get this far. Okay, next thing on the list. Is I have to buy one of these for Tracy. I think it's going on my Christmas list for her because she needs one really bad. She has a hell of a time. It is a waiting staff. Now there's one in the description below here. I will show it to you. And a variety of different price ranges. Find one in your price range. Maybe you want a really nice fold out aluminum one. Like I want to get Tracy. Um, depends on what you want. So a waiting staff will help you wait. I think I'm getting one too, a fold out waiting one and one for Tracy for Christmas. So don't tell Tracy. So check this waiting staff out. The next thing on the list is we don't have to buy for Tracy. We don't have to buy for myself because we already own the next two things on the list. And that's why we recommend these. One, I went through so many net holders. I've went through broke them. The chains wouldn't go back. All this. And I've been really in the past picky of not buying Orvis stuff. Now it seems like 90% of the stuff I have is Orvis. So I got an Orvis net holder. And I don't think it's made by Orvis. I just bought them at an Orvis shop. And I got the exact one I have in this picture. And it works great. You can lock it. You can you can actually retrieve the net. There's little little pin things. You can pull the net off and not have it on the retractable thing at all. Really fast. I grabbed Tracy's net already in our videos and grabbed her net off her back and netted the fish within like quick as heck. It's they're really nice. I love them. So that's I'll show you that now. That's a really nice net holder. I recommend you get one. If it, and you don't get anything on this list and you're watching this video, the net holder and the net, the next two things on the list, I highly, if you're not using one of these net holders and not one of these nets, you get one. They're amazing. So now with the net, I showed you the net holder, the net that I actually own is next. And if you're using a cloth net holder, no, I'm serious. Come here. If you're using a net cloth holder, stop. You're giving yourself way too much aggravation by going a cheaper net. I know the net 
cloth for cheap net holder or nets are only 10 bucks, whatever. Do yourself a favor, spend the extra money, and get a rubber one. Because I Tracy has a um, I have to put this on her Chris, with Christmas list is the rubber net. I have one, she has a cloth one. I went and bought one, and we want to decide this year if it was worth the extra money to buy a rubber one versus a cloth one or any other kind of net string ones and it is she was so mad because and she doesn't even use tandem flies I had to switch her because I use uh, two nymph rigs and three nymph rigs and dry fly and two nymphs and even though I'm going barbless the hook pops right out of the fish's mouth once you net it most all, most times then your fly actually gets stuck in the net and that's not that's a lot harder to get out than the fish's mouth so with the rubber ones, I've never had that happen. I usually the fly pops out. I pick up my rod, and the, net, the fly pops right out of the net, and I'm good to go. So if you're still using a, a different net, please do me a favor and get yourself a rubber net. You can buy one. All these things in the description link below. Like I said before, let's check out the net. Hey, there you have it, folks. My pick for the Christmas season. And I know this is really late, so most likely it's going to be after the Christmas season. But like I said, all these things will be in the link below. And I'll keep putting this video and other future videos. So, you know, when we're doing tying videos, you're all to, I'll keep mentioning that there's links in the description below where you can buy anything that you see us using from rods to reels to nets. And right now, we're only working with uh, Cabela's. Uh, the fillet marketer I'm working with, that's the only one I use so far. We're going to have, they're going to add more. Um, I know they gave Orvis a 3.2 rating, but yet they're not working with us yet. So I think that's in the make, which would be really cool. Anything you buy from Orvis, uh, I know Bass Pro Shops is one of them. We're going to see an ad there. We'll add most of these. Uh, They'll just be links, like you'll have a link for both Bass Pro Shop, you'll be able to go on there. And anything you buy while you're on these links helps us to buy new cameras, to um, everything that we use, uh, gas to go to places, more money and cash so we can go bring you to New York, places in New York, Maryland, and all around. Maybe we can even do some ocean fishing. All this is in our future. But we've got to make the channel more sustainable and bring more income to help us to do all, accomplish all these goals. So by any time you do this, it just helps make our channel great. And uh, like I said, the Everything Fly Fishing account has $100 in it um, so far. And uh, I'll keep you up to the Everything Fly Fishing account and how it's doing. If you want to, me to do that, tell me in the description below. And then we'll show you exactly what we bought with all the money that you guys created. Um, so far, by you watching our videos, we've only made 100 through YouTube AdSense, where the ads pop up. I know they're annoying. You want to click off of them. But so far, we made $100, which right now, I think I'm looking at a new action cam that shoots in uh, 4K. I know I probably won't shoot for it. It'll be a lot clearer. Um, all that stuff and like I said the featured channel today in this video is fly fishing ninja make sure you check out him in the description below show him the support he's working on uh, I think 300 100 subscribers or, yeah 300 subscribers to help him reach that goal and uh, thank you for always watching our videos I never ever dreamed we'd get this big and I've had people meet me on the water it's kind of Times it's kind of mind blowing. They're like that. You're that guy that does videos, and thank you so much for your support. Where you can actually start making money off these YouTube videos, and uh, you know, who knows? Maybe in two years I'll be able to do this full time. You know, I'd be making videos every day. That'd be so cool. But it needs your. We need your support. So thank you for all the support you've given us so far. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. We love you guys. You rock. And uh, remember, keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip, and check out all our other videos. And please subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos.
Thank you for watching.